I want to talk about graphing polynomial functions that have repeated factors. Let me show you what I mean. I've got an example here, f of x equals 2 times x plus 1 times x minus 2 to the third power. This is a repeated factor. You can think of x minus 2 as being a factor three times. And the behavior of the graph near a repeated factor is going to be a little different from what we're used to. So I want to talk about that a little bit in a second. But one thing we can say right now is the end behavior is still going to work the same way it always does. For end behavior, you want to look at the leading term. And the leading term is going to be 2x times x cubed, 2x to the fourth. And so if you were graphing a function like this, you would know that the two ends are going to go upward, right? just like 2x to the fourth does. And you also know what the x-intercepts are going to be. I'll abbreviate x-intercepts. The x-intercepts are going to be negative 1, 0, and 2, 0. The only thing we don't really know is how, how the graph behaves near 2, 0. So I want to show you a little demonstration that will give you some intuition about what happens when we've got repeated, uh, repeated factors. OK, here we are within Geometry Sketchpad. I've got the polynomial function f of x equals x plus 2 to the 1, x minus 1 to the 1, and x minus 3 to the 1. And I can change these two exponents if I want to. Now right now, this is a simple cubic function, right? It crosses the x-axis in three different places. So let me just show you. If I increase one of these exponents, you see what happens? Now that the exponent is 2, the graph touches the x-axis without crossing it, kind of hits it like a quadratic. In fact, if you show the approximating uh, polynomial, this, the behavior of this, uh, of this fourth degree polynomial is actually quite like a quadratic near x equals negative 2. And if we increase it further to 3, it's going to behave like a cubic. You see that? See how it kind of approaches like a cubic? It, gets, it flattens out at negative 2 and then starts increasing again. All right, let's take it back to 2. Now we can do this with both of, the, uh, both of these two intercepts. I'm going to take x minus 1 to the 1 and make it x minus 1 to the 2. And so now you see that I've got cubic, uh, sorry, quadratic behavior at both negative 2 and at 1. Let me show you the approximating polynomial. See, here's a, a quadratic that approximates the behavior of my now fifth degree polynomial function. Right? And I can increase this even more. So what do you learn from this? The bottom line is when you have a repeated factor like x plus 2 squared or x minus 1 cubed, the, the, function, the graph of the function is going to behave like a quadratic near a square factor. And it's going to behave like a cubic near a factor that's cubed. So here's your cubic behavior. Here's your quadra quadratic. Just remember. Remember the shape of y equals x cubed. And remember the shape of y equals x squared. And that'll tell you how the function behaves near that intercept.